rocking with Thunder Bay. Today we're celebrating something very important. Mm -hmm. I think our producer Katie might have been had something to do with this because it's National Guacamole Day. Mm -hmm. So in honor of that, we're going to tell you about a fun place to eat guac and sip wine tonight. That's right. Chef Mike Stigler is here to talk about a party at Thunder Bay that's going on tonight. It includes live music, prizes, and wine. And he's making our favorite, which is the ahi tuna nachos. Yum. These are the best things ever. Yeah, definitely. I love, love these em. ahi tuna nachos as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I thought that'd be a good way to kind of tie in National Guacamole Day uh -huh. as yeah. perpetuated by the avocado growers of America, I'm sure. But I love that. Did you always put guac on, on the tuna nachos? Well, the way we would normally do it would be to put a slice of avocado on top. But oh. since this is guacamole day, I thought it would be nice to maybe just take that avocado, make it into guacamole and kind of rearrange the dish a little bit for the sake of, of, of the holiday, so uh -huh. to speak, and also to celebrate our uh, Wine Spectator Award awesome. that we recently won out at Thunder Bay for having a fantastic, outstanding in the area wine list. Well, and I'm glad you've you've had your wine mm -hmm. manager yeah. um, on the show before, and that's it's something you can really be proud of because I know they've really worked at creating a more extensive wine list. Definitely, yeah. We've worked with all of our purveyors. We've listened to the requests from our guests, um, and Jim, our wine manager, has done a great job of putting together this wine list that we have, and tonight is kind of a celebration of that, and we're mm -hmm. going to have some delicious uh, little appetizers out, too, to sort of whet your awesome. appetite a bit, hopefully all some right. things that will complement the wine. It's great. Okay. All right. So you're going to teach us both how to make your guacamole and your tuna nachos? Yeah, we're going to do right. them both. We're going to do them both because this guacamole that we're going to do today is a really simple guacamole. It's like a, a three-minute guacamole you can okay. make at home if you're in a hurry. Okay. So first thing you need. Now watch Mike as he cuts this open because this uh, this is part of what's fascinating about first, it. I know. I've yeah. learned from you. I yeah. teach people your, your avocado tricks all the time. The avocado tricks. The I first thing cool. you need is a, is, a, is a quality avocado, and you want to be able to press on it a little bit and have that dent stay down. You don't want to press oh. on it. And have it oh, back okay. up. Is it? You want to press on it and leave that dent stay down. That okay, way you know it. that it's it's pretty soft on the inside. But you know, avocado, you never know what you're gonna get. This could be totally brown. I don't Surprise! know. I haven't cut into it, but hopefully okay. um, it, it should be good. So Can we're gonna cut, cut, gonna cut right straight green. down in, and you'll feel the the uh, seed in the middle there. And you don't want you don't need to be yakking or, and, and whacking with your knife, because you then you're gonna go don't through. Um, spin it all the way around like that, and then you just kind of connect your cuts. And you give it a little twist, twist. and there you go. And Beautiful. you have your two little sides of your avocado. You take your knife and you kind of get your seed out a little bit like that. Get your seed out you of the way. You did one time where you went like whap. Yeah, you, you can do that too. If you have a bigger knife, you can whack it like that and give Just it a twist. Just not with your hand in the back. Yeah, you got to be careful for the hand. Okay. And then you're going to take your avocado. This is the trick. And you're going to take your knife and you're going to make little lines in your avocado. Me too. Like this, uh -huh. all the way down the length of it. And you're not going hard because you don't want to cut through the, through the skin. You're to just your cutting fingers. enough. And if your avocado. Tip it toward the camera because he's like kind of um, making mm -hmm. a, a, like a yep. grid pattern. Just make in a little it. grid. And since we're going to mash this up, it doesn't have to be particularly pretty. If you wanted to make really nice diced avocado, you could make straight lines like that. That's and then go yeah. across <laughs> like so. Like that. <laughs> and what? Dude, what are you just about? don't even don't don't ever <laughs> repeat it. So then, On fleek is like so you gotta there, be what twenty one or under to say it, <laughs> or you gotta be me. <laughs> I have no or idea you gotta be what Molly. you're talking about. Exactly. Right? Avocados. Focus, ladies. Focus. Focus. Okay, let's National go, go, go. Like, Day. Whenever we walk over, he's always like, what are we going right. to get today? That's all right. That's why I mix them up ahead of time. He just started we, making eye contact with us again. And now you're going to ruin it. You ruined it. So He was afraid of us. For avocados. Like months. Okay. So avocados. Green, we got our go. avocados. We got them in our bowl. Mm, to this, mm, we're going to mm. go ahead and add some fresh <laughs> lime juice because lime is going to give it flavor. It's also going to complement our wine. Oh, a lemon, A little bit too. of lemon as well because okay. the wine that we're using for this this is a little bit citrusy, so we're going to go a little bit heavier on the citrus than what we normally might. Should we start drinking the wine now? Sure, or? go ahead. Okay. Bottoms up. Lubricate Look. yourself a little bit. You're not right, goofy wet enough. Your so. <laughs> Cheers. So Cheers. from there, we're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of pico de gallo. Now, pico de gallo is just like a fresh um, mm, salsa. Mm. If you could make this at home if you want, or if you go to pick and save in the fresh area of the produce section, they usually have some made up. They Get some of that ahead of time. And this has everything in it that you would probably go ahead and put into your guacamole anyway. It's got a little tomato. It's got a little onion. It's got a little cumin in there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got some spices and stuff in there. So if you have your avocado, mix it up with your pico de gallo. Do you oh. usually use a fork? Is that the best way to mash? Well, if we're making large quantities in the restaurant, probably don't use a fork. But right. if we're making it at home, definitely use a fork because okay. you want to leave it 
a little bit chunky. You don't want to use a potato, potato masher or anything silly like that. You want to okay. go ahead and use a fork. So you get it all I've nice heard and, someone say potato masher before yeah, for avocado. I've, I've heard someone say that too, and I, it's something that no. I generally tend to kind of shy away from myself. Okay. But He so wants there, us to not talk for a little bit. I know. So there we've got our avocado ready to roll, and now we're going to line up our <laughs> tuna. So this is um, ahi tuna. Um, fresh, seared in a pan really nicely so that it's nice and red we on the inside a still. We should have a shot of that. Come on, when guys. You, when you sear it, it's literally like go. 10 seconds on each side, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, it's less than a minute on each side because you want it to be nice and red in the center still. So we're going to go ahead and slice up our tuna, and then Pretty. from there we're going to build up our nachos. So we have mm -hmm. our wonton, which is what this is. This is not a tortilla chip. This is a wonton chip, even though it kind of looks like a tortilla chip. Um, it's like a wonton like you would make egg rolls out of, mm -hmm. brushed with a sweet chili sauce uh, and then some uh, sesame seeds on there. So you, we're I know you guys make these, but can you buy anything like this? I don't think so, no. But if you huh. go into the frozen foods, only at Thunder Bay, only at Thunder Bay. come on out. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and put our guacamole on the bottom there. Mm. We are going to put our slice of tuna on top of there. Yum. Then we have a little bit of citrus cream here. Oh, um, man. So this has a little bit of sour cream thinned out with uh, lemon and lime and a little bit of kosher salt. We're going to put some fresh chives on there as well. And I'm going to move this Wait. over to our appetizer tray. And there you have the spicy tuna nachos um, available tonight at Deep Thunder Bay for our wine spaces. spectator event. And we have that paired up right now with a um, buckhorn too. Sauvignon Blanc, which is um, Ooh, thank you. a domestic white wine that has some citrusy oh. tones to it that are going to complement the citrus in that guacamole and in the citrus cream sauce mm -hmm. as well. Okay, so let's put up the information for tonight's party because it's going to be beautiful weather-wise. So I'm, I'm guessing you're going to party at least partly outside, but there's live music, yeah, right? Yeah, we're going to party inside, we're going to party outside, we're going to awesome. party all around. Give us the details as we taste this. Six yeah. to nine tonight. We're going to we're gonna have multiple different wine purveyors out there and they're going to be giving out sample mm. tastes of, of the wine. Um, we're going to have people circulating, um, passing appetizers. We're going to have live music. Circulating and percolating. Circulating and percolating. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time. So come on out. Um, you know, you can have dinner. Stay and have dinner afterwards. Taste a little bit of wine. Have a little bite of food to, to you know, whet your appetite. Stick around. Have mm. dinner. Listen to some music from 6 o'clock until 9 o'clock at Thunder Bay Do people need to RSVP Pewaukee. for the party tonight? Um, it would be recommended, yeah, just so I know how many of these little nachos to make up because otherwise I really have no idea. Well, but, I might not get one. But, yeah, you mm. know, go ahead and, and, and call ahead. Um, and and stop on out and see us tonight at Thunder Bay. Thunder Bay, phone number on your screen. Otherwise, just visit on uh, 164 in Pewaukee. You bet. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. That Yummy. These are my favorite. Gotta mm. go just for these this. These are good. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Thank you so much, Mike.